Good, Good morning, Maastricht. Maastricht. My name is Jasper de Boer. And my name is Marta Tomczyk. Welcome to Breaking Mass, the show that brings you the news. That's our carnival special, actually. Live from Marta's couch. As promised in the last episode, the story on the new study place at SSC is being continuous. We went to the official opening of the facility at, at the SSC and had a little talk with the director of the university library. <laughs> So we are standing here with the director of the university library, inner city library. Tell us something about it. How did it, how was it arranged actually? How did it come to be? Well, what we noticed is that we had a limited number of spaces for our students to study, especially in the inner city library. And one of the options was this place, uh, this place at the student service center. So in total, there are about, uh, at this moment, there are 90 uh, study places available for students uh, which bring their own device. As you can see, there's no computer, no desktop available. So what we uh, did is to uh, facilitate it with uh, Wi-Fi and uh, copying. We will add some additional uh, study places. In total there will be about 170 or 180 study places in this building. I've personally noticed the problem at the inner city library when the students, like the high school students or the whole schools out, mm -hmm. uh, students are coming to the library and are using yeah. UM facilities. If this is the case, if if it's used by others that don't belong to the university or don't have a card of the university. You can always go to the staff, huh? you can see them with red shirts and say, okay, this is one a person taking my place, can you do something about it? A final question, okay. do you take into consideration the students' ideas for, for, the, for the name, for the study yes, place? Yes, sure, or? but uh, well, the idea was to, to, to make sure that these places, because they are on the th uh, second and third floor, that they will be used. So what we thought was, okay, let's introduce a kind of a poll, uh, an idea to ha how to promote the use of these study facilities. And uh, well, a lot of uh, ideas came up, but it should be something that can be recognized by, uh, by everyone. I'm sure that his friends, Neil's friends, will uh, know who he is, uh, but I'm not sure if all the other 15,530 uh, students know that as well. But we have a project group also with student members in it, and they will look at all the ideas uh, that came up. Thank you so much for the interview, and hopefully, as You're I said, to be enjoy the space. environment. Yeah, we are going to take a look, actually. Okay. Thank you so much. In order to get in the mood for the real thing, Allergic her pinkish purple glitter hat and together with our new cameraman Louis she went to the pre-carnival party at the clinic check it out tonight breaking mass is at cafe clinic in order to party the very first carnival's party of the year in Maastricht this is the one organized by party lovers so come in with us and let's have a look what do you expect from this party uh, well the idea was to create this carnival idea because a lot of people are from Germany and we wanted to bring the carnival feeling to Maastricht. We're expecting three to four hundred people tonight, so um, capacity is 450, so it will be a full party and we'll have a great night. Um, we organize one or two parties per block. We try to like change it with some other more casual events. What was the funniest thing that you have found the day after while cleaning? Actually, we, don't, we know we don't clean. Follow Party Lovers and Breaking Mass on Facebook. Are you enjoying the party? No, oh, yeah, I'm Philip, what's your name? Are you enjoying the party? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Now that the German kind of our music is gone. Vamos a tomar muchas cervezas y vamos a disfrutar la noche. What do you expect from this party? Well-dressed people, good music, like us. awesome atmosphere. 
And good music. Good music. That's what I said, actually. How drunk are you, by the way? Oh, not really. Just uh, business as usual. <laughs> That's what I said, actually. Arguably, Carnaval in Maastricht is the best one in the Netherlands. For some, it's a reason to pack their bags and leave as soon as possible. While for others, it is the best time of the year. If you want to taste a bit of this positive, colorful vibe, check out our report from the first days of Carnival. So today, we're going to ask people what Carnival is actually about. This place, this time of year where people come together, behave irrationally, lose their morals and just go wild. We want to see how much they know about this custom, what they know, what it is about. So, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Who are you guys? What's your name? Mark. Darren. Did you just come for carnival? No, we studied here. <laughs> you studied here? Really? Uh, and uh, do you know what carnival means actually? Yeah. We do now. <laughs> what does it mean? Drunk people dressed. <laughs> do you guys know where carnival is from? Uh, from, from the Catholics! From the Catholics? <laughs> no! Yes! But what does it mean? Uh, party it and party and, and then we go to Falls for 40 days. Carnival from? Yeah, I know where Carnival is from, but not in English. Okay, that's all right. Yeah, yeah. So it's from Holland? Uh, yeah, not particularly from Holland, but <laughs> almost. Um, yeah, what can I say? I don't know. Well, only the drinking, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. The event that barely happens in Maastricht is coming. It's the Ladies' Night, hosted by Tatiana on the 22nd of February on Friday at the Inhimel. If you will be quick and if you will bring four more, more ladies, so five in total, you will get a free wine. This is Breaking Mouse this week. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. And remember...